it's a long. So, recently in my Minecraft trade map, I actually built a brick pyramid, as you can see, similar to the ones that used to generate in the old InfDev version, but with a catch. I actually added more detail to the exterior and, and built an, an interior with various rooms. So let's walk right into it. So let's walk up the stairs here and head inside the pyramid. So I started things off with this hallway that you see here. I have quite a few turns. So let's take this, let's, so let's head into this room here. Ooh, a, par, a parkour room. I, so I, I actually made the parkour like kind of difficult. Oh, but not impossible, of course. So, like any intruder, there was, it was coming. It's coming in here. It's coming into the to the into the pyramid. Would have a would would have a hard time passing. But what's this? A trap door. Let's climb. Let's head down the ladder. And hmm, oldest lover. Work. Will this lever open the, the open the door? No. Let's try the other one. All right. So now we are in the labyrinth in the lower floor of the brick pyramid that I built. One of these corridors will lead to the tr will actually lead to the treasure room. But first, let's head this way. Ooh, a dungeon. I act. I actually. I actually built a pretty a relatively basic dungeon here with four mob spawners. I haven't put any chests yet or anything. So actually, you know, actually let's put them in now. Can't we decide on loot right now? But yeah, let's head back out of the dungeon and yeah, so let's head back out. Can we find the exit? Yes. And, and head over down this corridor. Whoa! Set off our first trap that I am showing you guys. I actually put a dis actually just put a dispenser with a few stacks of arrows in, and because I really couldn't think of any other traps that would that would that wouldn't cause structural damage to the build. But anyway, here's an iron door that will finally lead us into the treasure room. And right away, you just set off all of these dispensers with arrows. Yeah. So, so for the treasure room, I just put some piles of iron, gold, and emerald. I probably should have put diamond, as well, some diamond as well. That would have made it a bit more interesting. So let's add a couple diamond blocks right right now. If I can find them, if I can even find them in the creative menu. There they are. Yeah. Oh, While wow, there's nothing in the chest yet, I even put one chest it's right above the dispenser so that so that by clicking on it would actually set off the trap. Although it misses the player currently. <laughs> yeah. So this will take. So this world will take us back out. And now let's head over here. What's this? A puzzle with three levers, where we have to figure out the combination to get the door open. In fact, with the way I built the redstone behind this, the con the, the combination that will allow us to pass is just this first lever down, second lever, and third lever up. And while I haven't even built the room on the other side of this piston door, I actually plan to have something pretty interesting in here, to build a pretty interesting room. So let's head back. Let's head back out of here. Now let's head back out. Close this trap door. Now let's take the now let's now let's take the now let's head through the archway on the other side. So here I just built a room with some greenery and bluery in the water. And the jack o' lantern to provide light.
And I plan to have another room in here, uh, but I actually just carved out this archway right before I, right before I started recording this video, so I actually didn't build anything on the inside yet. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much all I've got for today. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, and hit the bell and click all for all notifications, and, and feel free to comment suggestions down below. Now, goodbye.